guys, my name is Bharat and I'm the creator of Bharat in Germany. This is the third episode of A Day in Life of a Student in Germany, where we take a look at different kind of lifestyles of students studying in different German universities. In this video, we have Garima with us. Garima is a very active member of the big community. She joined maybe back in 2018. And since then, she has written blog posts. She has written numerous Facebook posts in the Bharat in Germany Facebook group and also submitted a lot of stories in the newsletter. Right now she's doing an internship at Bharat in Germany. So I'm really excited to see what she has to show to us. So let's get started. My name is Karima. Many of you, if you know me, you know me as Prini. Both of these are my names, by the way. So I study international management and leadership at Israel Hochschule Heidelberg. And I came here in 2018. Yeah, my master's will end in September. Right now I'm doing my internship with um, Bharat. It's a compulsory internship, so I could choose where I wanted to do one and I really wanted to do it with him because I wanted to learn the stuff he does and I had also been involved in, with the community for so long and I really thought it would be nice to understand how stuff goes. So, yeah. Hi, uh, welcome to my room. I live in a big with eight other people, seven other people, including me, it's eight. And um, this is my room. First, maybe like you see here is a dead thing. It was my quarantine project that failed because my stuff didn't come. This is my bed that I bought, I don't know, like maybe a month ago. These are the lights that I put on my bed. My first gorgeous window. Then my super nice table that comes out like this. So yeah, like if I need like space to have like one screen here and one screen here and work like a gamer, I use this, but it's really cool. So too many screens for sure, one old laptop, a mouse, then a lamp that's facing the other side because it's kind of sad and a book, swatch, headphones, pens, a German book that I plan on reading but never read. You see my phone, my nightstand and my candle. Now coming to my plants. This is aloe vera, not the name but the plant. Some other plants that I have. This is my, these are my armchairs. The perfect way to sit on them is not like this, but like this, because that's more comfortable and like this. This is something that I found on the street for free. So here is my bookshelf. Um, not too big, but yeah. So that's all of, all of the stuff. Not all, but like some of the stuff that I have for kitchen. Like coffee and stuff. I don't know. And this part just has a picture frame that I like got from a friend. Um, wait, this friend? On my birthday and then this is a roommate that like shifted a few months ago and then she left but like she was also very close to me so I decided to have her in the picture that's my camera that I should be getting back to photography um, something that was given to me when I was in India by a friend for my birthday so you see here that's me and my dog yeah. And um, some comic books that I also should be reading to practice my German. Um, books and language books. These are the ones that I've actually read. And then some books from library and shoes and a lot of other stuff. Here are my cupboards. And this is a fridge that I got a month ago because summer's nearly here and like a lot of my stuff was getting spoiled. There's a fan for summer and that's it that's my room so my day starts by waking up at around 8 that's early for a student my alarm is at 8 i wake up at 8 30 then i turn on my laptop see if i have any messages from Bharat that i need to take care of then i normally eat breakfast but sometimes i don't so my breakfast is really simple and quick i don't spend a lot of time preparing it so it's healthy quick and highly nutritive so it's milk with oats any plant-based milk with oats and like i like to 
put a lot of stuff in it like maybe some nuts nowadays i'm putting walnuts and black seeds and a banana and i alternately if i, I think the taste is too plain sometimes i switch to an omelette but yeah otherwise i just make my bowl real quick and sit in front of my laptop and eat it while i work because i don't like to waste much time earlier i used to just like watch something along with my breakfast but nowadays i just like eat it along with work quick precise just short then i turn on my laptop i have a video call normally with him for like one hour one and a half hour depends on our discussion then we decide our agenda for the day hey <laughs> Hi, pretty. Morning. Good morning. I really loved the video, how it turned out. Yeah, me too. I watch, also watched it. So okay. you were in the countdown? Yes, I was in the countdown. That's nice. Yeah, it turned out like surprisingly well. So I'm like really happy about it. And also like all of the other videos we are going to make. Yours is going to come up real soon. Uh, yes, <laughs> if I'm done <laughs> shooting soon. Then I just like do a quick thing where I turn the curtains of my room to the side so that there's more light in the room and I just feel motivated and inspired by looking outside and continue for the day work then in the evening I go to the garden uh, me and my housemates recently restored the garden it was in a pretty bad shape earlier but now it's like amazing then I normally go around in the house to get coffee tea the electric kettle is upstairs um, in the upstairs kitchen we use each other's stuff all the time so then i get my tea or coffee then someone talks to me in the middle of the way five minutes come down work we meet around a lot for games board games and going out sometimes and taking walks going to the supermarket and normal stuff after i wake up then i take my plants up as i said to get them a little sun it's an important part of my life now. My plants. So let's talk about a little reason why like I kind of decided that I would show my life here in Heidelberg and how I live here is because when I was like myself searching for when I was like when I wanted to go to come to Germany my university was decided okay my city was decided and I really wanted to see how my life would be here so I was like looking up at all these things like okay how far is the university from the place I would be staying and all these things how it looks I was checking the house out on google maps to see how it is I was kind of always excited about the kind of student life I would have like having your room your cooking schedule your desk decorating your room was really interesting to me i bought my um, bed and my desk and i could do that because i was working part-time at little rondo and i saved a lot of money like my first year of locked account thing was done like i had it for a year and i started working a part-time job in 2019 january 80 hours less than 80 hours per month whatever i was earning i was saving it i was not spending it there was no need to spend it. i was kind of happily managing everything i wanted to go out i went out and i was eating perfectly fine not compensating on anything and then with the money i saved i really because i was going to live in this house for a longer duration of time initially it was not planned so i decided to like invest in some furniture my point is that you can earn money and then you can spend it the way you want and it is kind of cool i have an interesting package coming today i ordered candle for which I paid like 15 euros um, because I work at Liferando and I get coupons every um, month for the numbers of number of hours I've worked or um, the kilometers I've driven. So I had been collecting them and then I had like a hundred and something euros worth of Amazon coupons and I ordered Kindle. You see this? Amazon shopping your package with Kindle Paperwhite arriving today. Yay! Okay, problem. Thank you. For me, as a student, is being independent, being able to take my own decisions, and just like living my hobbies somehow. And Heidelberg is so beautiful, like amazing. I couldn't show you a trip to the university because 
I'm not going to the university anymore. I really have no business there anymore. I just finished my thesis. Now I have my internship and it doesn't make sense for me to go there. Plus, I don't have a semester ticket right now because like the university is closed and my semester ticket expired in March and so another reason and like if I'm not going to the university to study, I'm usually going there to work out or go to the gym, but the gym is closed, which is so depressing. But what can you do about it? You know, just can always run outside, but I'm not really a big fan of running. So yeah, many people worry about cooking that they can't do it can't manage it can't manage their time um i wouldn't say and put myself in the picture that i could never do it and then i never did anything at home i mean i did some stuff like i could always do my breakfast and i could always do like small stuff and then like before coming here my mom taught me a few things like a month before i came here and then i came here i was doing all these things pretty interesting cooking too many things like because like I came one week or two weeks in advance my university started I was cooking burgers at home insane but yeah I was cooking a lot and also because I like eating I like Indian food I specifically like the flavors and everything that I really feel is missing here so because I like eating I learned a lot to cook and it was just convenient it puts you in the mood and it's an independent life like you really will be doing stuff taking like doing so much stuff on your own for the first time it really makes you independent it really makes a lot of difference so maybe like this is something that you should look forward to and not be scared of you know did i burn something while cooking probably can i still make round chapatis mm -mm. but i can cook really well after work at around 5 30 for example i have to go to the supermarket and buy some stuff that i need i usually think about the stuff that i need so that i can be quick in the supermarket also like you don't want to spend a lot of time there waste a lot of time there so i either go to the supermarket or sometimes i even go out to eat Since I live in a vegae, I thought it would be like nice to um, share some stuff about life in a vegae. So like, what is a vegae? Um, a vegae is like more like a house. It's not a student dorm. So it's not necessarily by um, the university. It's something you probably search on your own. And it could be a house. It could be like a flat. Like there are rooms and you live in like, you share common spaces with um, other people like kitchen and bathroom and like corridors, gardens, cellar, whatever there is. So yeah, I've been living here since 2018 September. I didn't move anywhere else because the location was perfect and everything was just great. A few things that you need to take care of, like one is when you search for one. So um, be careful. Um, there are many times people who are trying to fraud you of course you're in india there's no way that you can see the room personally before you come here so you have to rely on pictures and like kind of rely a bit on trust so what you have to do is like you know if the person like seems a little bit shady at all just like is saying that yeah you need to send the money in advance and is asking you to send money via some kind of western union or something then just don't reply anymore so um of course there are ways that you can find out if it's legit it's probably a good idea if you have like one friend here who can just like visit the house and see if it actually exists so um landlords that ask for money in advance that was same in my case so the person who was renting me said that i need to pay um the rent for one month and the deposit it was a lot of money like around 
I don't know, maybe a thousand euros or something, including my rent. It was still okay. I asked for his passport details and stuff. And it, people could still fake theirs, but like it didn't seem that fake. So I was lucky. I found a place pretty soon and I've been here. So there are some rules also about living in a VGA. So you have to respect other people's space and stuff. Like if you borrow something from someone, make sure that you clean it and put it back. Like people want to give you stuff and it's like living in a house with a family, but you have to respect other people's belongings and their space. So keep that in mind. If you're living with other people, you need to take care if you're like too loud at times, if you're like playing music at night, then it disturbs because you have like normal university schedules. If you're living with like foreigners, then um, just respect their culture and just don't, just don't talk bad you know like all everyone who's lived in this house has always been a friend of mine right now all the people who live in the house are just perfect we all get along really fine we play around a lot of games and watch movies together and since like since quarantine we've been spending a lot of time together so it's really fun it really is like a family here but you you know you have to make the effort as well you have to be understanding and adjusting and just yeah like giving i would say so that's my advice to you good luck finding a good nice figure it's really important find nice people and live with them i personally really enjoyed editing this video and i hope you like this video too i just want to remind you again that all of these students are doing it completely on their own on the voluntary basis so just encourage them, give them a like, leave a comment on the video or share it with your friends. I also hope more female students come and join in in the series so that we also have a completely different perspective of how students live in Germany. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.